Hello and welcome. Report Builder has always been a great tool for end users to create their own database queries and database reports. Now we have added some exciting new features that make Report Builder 6.3 even better than the previous versions. So <clears throat> this is a predefined query I'm opening, connecting to the database. And now this is new, the prompt for uh, query values dialog. And you see a description text here on the left that describes what is being asked for by the user. And on the right, the user can enter the, um, the values that are being queried for them. So a way to customize your reports without the need to change the underlying queries. So I, I'm looking now for open invoices in the, the United States. Click OK. And now go into report preview mode and have that report open. And you see for every company, I now see the open invoice amount here in red. Let me show you how you define these. There's in the conditions tab of the query dialog, you can either provide the syntax here, colon, square bracket, question mark, and then the text that should be displayed for the user, or you just double click into the cell and you open a form dialog that allows you to enter the text that should be displayed for the user when this query is executed. So you see that's all provided. And if I click OK, this query will be executed again. And such, it will ask me again for the right, um, for the right query condition values here. So this is making custom reporting with Report Builder much easier and flexible. Report Builder is the reporting companion product for team developer as well. From team developer applications, I can run Report Builder reports, and that's what I'm doing here. A new in version 6.3 is that you can pass the watermark image from the application to the report, and it doesn't need to be predefined in the report. You can also define whether the watermark should be displayed or not. That's why I have a check button here, which is checked at the moment. I can uncheck it. Water, and you see that <clears throat> watermark off or watermark on. Of course, I want to have it on. And now if I press print preview, the report will come and you see that the watermark and washout style, the logo here in the background is being displayed. If I close this, close this report and say watermark off, then go to print preview, you see that there is no watermark used in the report at all. Let me show you the definitions and the coding behind this. Let's close this and switch to the report to see what needs to be defined here. In the report watermark definition dialog, you can now choose from an input item or input variable. I have set it to input variable and the input variable I'm using has a name company watermark. The second new feature with watermarks is that you have now have conditional display for watermarks and depending on a formula, you can uh, display the watermark for the report or not. So if uh, you see there is a show watermark formula and if I open this one, it depends on a data item show watermark that is being passed from the application. So if show watermark equals one, then the watermark will be displayed. If show watermark equals zero, then it will not be displayed. So that's the report definition in Report Builder. Okay, so let me show you the code for this. I do have this form window here. This form window has the ribbon bar that you have seen that contains the report builder group and then the button to start the uh, print preview and then the check button that turns showing the watermark on and off. So here, what I do here is a Zal ribbon get item checked and this value will be stored in the Boolean B watermark. And if B watermark is true, then I'm setting the end watermark to one, which is then being passed to the um, report later. Here, I'm actually starting the report with style report view. Here's the uh, file name of the report that I'm launching. And then the report processing is happening here in the messaging on some report start. I'm connecting to the database. Um, uh, doing some error processing. If it doesn't work, then I'm putting text into a list box on the screen. I'm doing the SQL prepare and execute for the query. And 
then I'm reading the watermark image from the disk and behind the if you can actually see that there are two calls to a sal report that object var which sets the object company watermark and puts this um, the contents from the string into the uh, company watermark and pass it, passes it to the report and the same is sal report set number var the uh, report variable is show watermark and I'm putting the value and watermark from the application into it. So that's how I pass the values from the application to the report. And depending on end watermark, the report will either display the watermark or not. So actually quite easy to pass watermarks from the application to the report to create nice looking and flexible reports.